Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now, yesterday when I did the kit that I did, I offered a book as um, a prize to somebody that commented on my channel. Somebody said to me that it's going to cost a lot of money to send the book. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I'm not undoing it, but I'm sending you this book here that has actually, it's got a, it's ring binding, it's the same book exactly the same book it does have a couple of little issues there was a name on there so I've stuck that there and I've cut out the top part of this lady where her name was because this is believe it or not a lot lighter and if I send the other one it goes up over 500 grams and that'll I'll, then I'm having to pay twice the, like twice the amount like um, under 500 grams there's a set amount okay and if it goes over I have to go up to the next level which is twice as much so um, somebody said if I just send overseas it cost me a real lot of money well now that I've taken swapped them out I just swapped it it's just exactly the same book exactly the same book exactly the same pictures and really all the nice all the nice um, embroidery stitches in here there is more than um, step-by-step -step things, but there's A to Z of embroidery stitches. So it's the same thing, just, well I'm sure it is, just it's got, um, instead of being bound with a heavy, because heavy, this is not as heavy either, this is a sort of a lighter um, cover. So I hope that people that went into that um, put up a comment you know, if you don't want it, well, you can take the comment down, I suppose. But um, I will do a, um, a thing. And I'll also, um, anybody that comments on this one as well can go into the draw. So I've got the, the one with the um, crazy patchwork um, things in it. And I've got only two of them left at the moment. I don't know, I haven't had a look this morning. So as far as I know, I've still got two of those. And um, this one here now, I'm going to put up is for your slow stitching or you can use it for crazy patch you can use it whatever you want to do but I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put this actually on the on both these videos like not two books just one book but for somebody that has commented and you need to like it and you need to be a subscriber and I noticed that there's a lot of people that have actually made a comment but you didn't like the video so that helps me too, you know, if you say you like it, <laughs> okay, you understand? And so I'd like you to do that, please, um, if that's all right. I haven't got as many likes as what I have comments that you said like the book. So um, uh, if that's all right, you know, I want to I, I want to um, give this to someone. So we will have the, the out of the two, <sighs> you know what, I'm going to have to do this again. Uh, a different way. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give two books. No, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. The other two that I have, or three, are in debt. Like one's one, and the other one's number two. Book one and two. So I'm just thinking that I will need to give more because I'll have two of two channels of two uh, videos. I don't know if I can actually do it with all the ones of two. I'll have to do it some way. I was going to put the thing up, you know, where you put it into the, it, and it just goes through and it finds your person I was going to do that it's an automatic picking thing but I'm going to have to do it myself by numbers I'll just put a whole open numbers to the amount of people that it put up a okay so I'll get I'll get all the numbers I'll do a number thing right you have a number generator so I'll generate the number and the person with that number on the comment that comment and I'll count from <laughs> Ah oh dear. Oh, now I've got myself into a bit of a tizz, haven't I? Putting up. Ah, crikey. Well, maybe maybe I can do a, a giveaway and have um, a kit for people that. So go, if you want this book, comment on the first video, right? We'll go back to that. This video is not going to count. If you comment on this one, that's not going to count. Go back to the one where I did the um, uh, crazy patchwork and comment on there, right? Because that'll be the only one, because I won't be able to do it any other way, okay? Every month, hopefully, I can do this. I'd like to pay his back in some way for being there and supporting me. So, 
if you can do that, that would be really good. So if you want, this will be on, the giveaway is on the previous video I did on the Crazy Patchwork Kit. Crazy Patchwork Kit. I'll put a link to that. That'll Hopefully I'll put a link to it. But anyway, so this will be the book. I hope that's okay. But it takes it down so I can... I was, I'm was. i not even going to be able to put anything in there with it, I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to just write a little tiny note because I don't want it to go over the price. But it does. It just They just probably double the price just for a tiny, tiny bit extra weight. Well, people know that anyway. But I don't mind sending it. I'm definitely going to do that. I just When I looked at it last night, looked at them last night, I thought, geez, this one's different. got a different spine and, and it's okay, though, because it actually opens up really good and you can lay it down and see it's got all the instructions to all your stitches. You know, it's got all the instructions. So if you haven't learnt all these by now, this is the way to do it. See, look at that. If you haven't been watching me, rewinding, <laughs> doing it, but you can do that too. You know, but if you want to just take it somewhere with you and you haven't got your phone or however you watch my videos, it's all in here. And it didn't, this one didn't cost me $40. I mean, when I said that the first time, I thought, well, that's really weird because I did pay that for a lot of other ones that I got, but they were crochet ones. This one was only $19, but it wouldn't cost me that much because I think I bought it for a dollar. I think I actually paid a dollar for these because somebody else owned it, right? Somebody else owned this in the first place. And so that's if that's okay, it's it's fine. It's not dirty. It's not wrecked or anything. So I'm sure it's okay to give as a as a gift. And I just stuck that pretty little flower there because I didn't want to scribble all over that. There's a lady's name under there, and I thought, well, you know, I hope that's okay. If you don't want to be in the drawer, just take your name down or don't put your name up. Okay. So thank you very much for that. Right now, here's for the kit for the um, slow stitching which I have got some little samples of here and one that I've done, but I couldn't get them all. But these are the, this is one that I was doing when Ann Brooks was doing hers and I didn't get very far with it. I ended up, I cut it in half and then I think I told you the other day that I sewed it back together again, right? But I just wanted to show you that, that this is what I'm, I'm giving you stuff to make things like that. These are actually, um, uh, well, I've just put all that together. This is a crazy patchwork. That's a crazy patchwork. And this is another. This is a slow stitching that I did in squares. And then I put them together. Because, see, you can do it. If you want to do a little one, if you just want to do a little one, because you don't want to go too big, I did that. And I showed you this because I did a video on this of making coaster-sized ones. And then I put them all together like that. Okay? So whether... Um, I will do anything with these. I think I'm going to keep that one, but maybe I'll put the... I'm going to put these things on my Etsy because <laughs> a lot of people couldn't find them. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but anyway. They're going on my Etsy. There will be four of these and two left of the other one, I think. I haven't put these up yet, but as far as I know, there'll be two of the other But I will just write that up there because I'm just going to have a quick take the quick pictures of what I put in them and... <clears throat> I've ironed them this morning. I've ironed them. And I both uh, don't get sort of carried away. They said, what do I do with that other box with them in? And there you go. I've got another. Oh, here. So these are the ones here that I got ready to last night. And I added to them. I added the cotton. So these are, these are the, <coughs> these are the first ones for the, velvet pieces and I added this thread I've got a fair bit of thread there uh, be careful don't get it tangled up I, I tangled it up a fair bit last night these are mostly um, they are pearl cottons so I've got a fair bit of bit there for you there's lots of different colors so that's what I added to that last night so you'll have that because I think I've showed you everything else in there and um, so that's that there, so that's right, they're ready, they're ready, Righto. all I've got to do is get the right size bag because I don't want to put them in the wrong bag, so this one here will have the thread, um, and I've carefully just put it into a tiny little knot there, but you've got a good amount, there's this here turned over twice, Time. Anyway, there's a bit of thread there. There's ten different colours. 
um, tried to get a variety for you so you could pick whatever you like see this will give you an idea what you want to use or if you've got some or you know I might just have a mouthful of drink thank you I was working away waiting for hubby to get back with my little bags so I could put some things in for you you'll get a little little tiny bag of buttons right you will get a little little book <laughs> da, 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 da. don't laugh at me little book I had fun doing this because it was I didn't make a real look at, look at this I put a little little bit of little link little thing there and unhook it and I wrapped it round I was trying to end up with both the same um, amount at the so I could do that, so I could do the wrap around thing. You've got to go across the front and down there, and then you can hook that up here, and it, and it's closed. This needle book is made out of a very old piece of fabric, nice piece of vintage. Um, what do you call it? Uh, upholstery or curtain fabric, and inside here we have some little bulb pins in a nice blue one. I've put in some of these, um, what do you, hexagon shapes, little hexy shapes for you to use. And in here, I have some little pins there, and I have a bead needle, and we have two ordinary needles. Reasonably good eye, sharp. This one's a little bit longer, so you can do your work. Now, I will put those in each of these kits they won't be in the other one because I've already priced the other one and it's already a thing you know so we'll also have free they will be different um, the suffles will be different colors I think these I'm going to put in one of the other ones I'm going to try and keep them neutral as much as I can so you can do whatever you want with them with them okay and then there's this piece here that is for your back piece and it would be about 10 by 8 I think okay so that's that bit there I don't know I should be able to do this in half an hour we have <coughs> now you can like this one it'd be nice if you did if you put a like on it in the comments so it's up to you but this will be in the Etsy store because um, a lot of people aren't finding uh, they've gone to my Etsy and said that sold kick quick, but I didn't put it in there. So it was, it was on my. Um, and these will be in the Etsy store anyway. It doesn't matter. Etsy's going to take a few dollars. Well, I suppose they've got to make money too, don't they? Oh, and I've got this one here as well. This is an embellishment packet. This has got um, sequins, beads. There's gold sequins, green sequins, clear sequins. There's beads of lots of different colours. It's a nice little lot of bead soup for you. Okay. Um, so that'll be also in the packet. Then we have lace, pieces of lace, pieces I don't, I think I've got a couple bit of vintage but that's all, not much vintage in this lace I'm afraid. Um, I'm going to do a separate lace one later. So this is actually stuck to that because it likes to, this thing here because it grabs everything. <laughs> I think I showed you. No, I didn't. I did a video be before on this. It's got. It looks like it's dirty. This thing, but it's got. You watch this. It's all coming off because everything grabs to it straight away. It's a really good magnet thing. It just all sticks to it. So, this is a vintage piece. This nice piece here, and then there's some of that velvety. I think that could be a vintage piece too because the other velvet stuff doesn't do that. Then I've got these small thin pieces here, which are nice to use. And that bit there, it's a nice piece to put on your, um, your slow stitching. This is a vintage piece. Bit, not that much there, sorry about that. This is a nice pink piece. Double over, that is. That's not, not vintage, it's not a piece of crochet one. This is a piece of stuff, like a bit of ribbon there. This piece is a nice crochet piece. This piece here is a bit of um, Japura lace, it's called, and it's also got, uh, I've got something moved, it's got a piece of fabric on it because this is um, reused, you know, it's re recycled, that piece, it's a recycled piece. This piece here is really old, you know, because that came off a really nice bedspread 
thingy that I, a friend of mine got and shared with me. This piece here, I think, is might be a little bit old too because it's something I've never seen before. Well, you know, there's could I don't think it, I think it is old because it was in a piece of a, a lot of other stuff. Um, there was this piece here. I think some nice lady sent me some of this, but I'm going to show you a bit. And then there's this piece here, and you know what I did iron that, but. Oh, I don't know, sometimes these cotton things don't iron out very good, do they? I mightn't have been persistent enough with laying it down flat. <laughs> I'm not a big um, fan of the iron, so... Oh, I do like a new little new one. I do like a new little iron. I'll bend to some of these over. I'm going to have to... So they will fit in the packet. We're going to send them nicely in the packet. Now, this for shipping is not going to cost me very much because it's not very heavy. My husband just weighed it for me, and it will be in the first category, I think, of the shipping. So, um, I'm going to put, I'm, I'm thinking about putting free shipping on it. I'm thinking about that. I'll see what happens when I go to put it up, if I feel that way inclined or not. Probably. I don't like, I don't think it's fair that the people that are overseas have got to pay a lot more. It's not fair. <laughs> Sophia, I suppose. I see the words we don't have. I don't know. Anyway, so here's some fabric, right? Now this is a piece of something that somebody sent me too, and it was like a ribbon, but it's um, it's nice, isn't it? It's different. It's interesting. So that's that bit there. Should have put that in the ribbon pieces. Now I've got these are only the smallest ones. These are the smallest ones I have in here. I just put these bits in because they're plain colour. I've got a few other plain colours. And there's that bit there that you can do your cross stitch on, but if you... <laughs> so this is a piece of the ticking, well, well, you know how they, what they cover the mattresses with. That's what they, this is. That's a piece of that. Now, <clears throat> if I tell you that this piece is about seven inches by three, then you can gauge m the, the others are about you know, most some of it yet. This is a, an old piece. Now, a friend sent me some of this, but I already had a doona cover of this. This is from the 70s. When I say that these are vintage, well, I don't know how far people go back to, to the vintage thing, but they're retro. How's that? This is a fairly old piece, too. It's got frame things everywhere, extra threads here. This is a nice piece. I do love that. It's sort of a stiffy sort of thing, but it's nice. I think somebody sent me this, but I'm going to share this because I don't think I'll use m more of it. An elephant. That's a piece of something that I, I acquired and I got that for you. Now this is off an old tablecloth um, that was very well looked after and, you know, ironed and laundered and all that sort of thing. So it's really nice. But I cut pieces, different pieces of different parts of it for you because it was all you know, different sorts of things. And there's another piece of stripey. That's not the same thing, though. No. That's just a piece of stripey material. Um, these average about six inches by four or four by six or something like that. This is a really, this was a fairly old piece because I had a picture of this little girl on it too. And it wasn't look very nice, so I didn't put that in. But it's got nice little bees on it. It's only thin. This is a um, vintage or retro or whatever. It's got a painted flower on it or the decorations or whatever this stuff is on here is painted on there. You see, you can see it right through the other side. So that's a pretty piece, nice piece. I thought the sense of Easter Bunny's not far away. We would put on, put in this bit of Easter Bunny. But you could cut that bit off there and use that piece, or cut out Bunny and put him on. Doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. And I put a fairy. In. Oh, and I put a fairy in because I have a heap of fairy fabric, and I made sure that you got at least one or two fairies that were all still there, just in case you want to put that on something else. <laughs> and this piece here is a really nice piece that's not very old, I don't think. This one here could be from the 70s, I think. This is, um, well, 70s. How long ago was the 70s? <laughs> 30, 50 years, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, dear, I've squashed all this. So there's another, well, I don't know if that's retro or not or old. This one here is a bit old, too. Probably from the 60s or the 70s, that one there. This one here is too, and I don't like it at all, but I thought if you just, you break it down, you know, you get that bit, or you cut out that bit there, you know, because it's an old vintage piece. This one here is as well. It seems to be, this is a bit, 
on, you know, different, but it's everybody likes some things different, don't they? This is beautiful. Don't know how old this is, but it's got, um, it's see-through, and it's a very old piece of something. Maybe more bunny for, for the Easter bunny. But I was looking at these flowers here. You could put, cut that panel of flowers out there, because this is double. You've two bunnies. So I thought you could cut that panel of flowers out if you want to, or that bit, or your bunny. Well, there's another flowers over there too, so it's up to you what you want to do. And then there's this piece. Now this is old, this is a really old piece of an old curtain, but it's still all right, it's still in one piece, so it's, you know, clean and ordinary, you know, clean and nice. Ironed ordinarily, <laughs> not professionally. Now this is not retro, or oh, oh, it is actually retro looking because it is a piece that um, I bought not long ago well say five years maybe or maybe not mm, don't know how long spotlight's been over there when I say over there it's about 20 but this one you can use the panels out of if you wanted to or use it as a whole piece because there's a good size piece of that and this one here is a really old piece of um, what's the name fabric uh, Furnishing fabric it would have been for a because I don't think I think it'd be too thick to wear as something. But I was looking at that as uh, some of the others have got a bigger flower on it, you could embroider around it. In the other kits, they had and these ones here too, you could do that if you wanted to, or just cut out a piece and put it into your slow stitching. So that is I'm not going to go back in there, is it? This is the um, kit for uh, the slow stitching. Well, I'm going to call it that. It doesn't matter what you do with it, it's up to yourself, you know. Um, but I have some videos up there on slow stitching, but I will be doing more as we go along anyway. Um, so it's up to everybody, you know, if you bought this kit, if I sell all these four kits, I might um, do a video on putting it together. You know, like how I'm going to, I'll find the stuff I suppose I could. <laughs> I should have some left over. So this is what you get, okay? So that's that one. Now the other one's $35. The first one's $35 and it still stays the same price even with the cotton in it. This one here, because um, it's not that heavy, I don't know how much it cost me to ship overseas. Somebody said they wanted one of the other ones, so I've got to find out, Molly. I'll find out how much it'll cost me for you to, you know, to have have it sent over there to you, because I've got the weight of it now. I can ring up and ask them. This one here has got a lot, a bit more stuff in it. Forty-five. Okay, this is forty-five. The other one's thirty-five. This one's forty-five. All right. So I hope that's all right, because I, I can imagine it's got to be. <laughs> I've bought kits in the past anyway. It's up to you whether you want to buy it or not. It doesn't really matter because I can just go and sew it myself. <laughs> That's not very nice on you. I didn't mean to say that. You know what I mean. I mean, I can use them. It doesn't matter. If I think somebody said my other ones weren't too dear, and I don't think this is. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff in there. You couldn't actually go out shopping and come up with all that, I don't think. For, the, for that. I don't think. I don't know. Okay. So thank you everybody for watching. And I hope you don't mind what I've put on them, but. Um, how much you charge for them? Don't forget to leave a comment on the other on the other video for this book, okay? And um, please leave a comment and a like on this one as well. That'd be nice. And I hope you like this. I think it's really nice, but it's got a little bit more extra stuff in it. And I've made a little book, and there's needles and things. It's not in the other one. Um, I thought about making them up and putting them in there, but I, I, I won't do that because they're not. I've got to get back into my own things, you see, and this takes a long time to put these together. Anybody that does this knows that, you know, that it takes a while to get these sort of things sorted out. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope I haven't upset you by saying anything about me. <laughs> Promise me kids, oh dear. Oh dear. Anyway, these will be on my Etsy. They will be on my Etsy. And the first lot will be too. But I don't mind if you email me, but if they're on my Etsy and they sell, well then that's it, that's, that's it, they'll be sold, okay? So thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.